Yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I, I hate to say it, like I, I am so obsessed with this sport now that I actually hate this sport. Like I wish it didn't occupy my every thought. Um, so I am living for Saturday, for our match on Saturday. I've already figured out, you know, because I'm, I'm going to be away from home, so I'm, tr I'm scheduling the time so I can make sure I'm uninterrupted and I can just focus on Wrexham, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, um, another benefit of being friends with Ryan is that he's friends with everybody. And so the, the idea of learning the rules of football from one of the greatest footballers in the history of the sport uh, is a, is a, is a pretty <laughs> is a pretty good aspect of the yeah. whole thing. And he's also just possibly the nicest man on planet Earth. Now that's it's a stadium. Wow. Not better. So there is a real risk for us. Yeah, I mean that's part of the anxiety. Like watching the team lose last night, you're thinking the investment in this club just took a hit. Yes, and and there is a version of the story uh, where we are villains, <laughs> where oh, it that's my usual story. It's usually the story in my head. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't work, and then we go, what are we going to do? We have to sell it, and then we're the bad guys. Yeah. Well, I think at first, like anyone, she was like, wait, what? Like, what how, how, What does this entail? I mean, what, what's gonna happen when you, you know, go down this rabbit hole? Cause she knows me, I don't, you know, and I know Rob's the same way. We don't really do anything half measured. You know, you sort of go all in, so. Um, but she's obsessed with Wrexham. I mean, she might be more obsessed with with Wrexham and, and, and it's a, a, a possible promotion than I am. I think she's uh, she knows all the players now, knows all the personnel, she's like, you know, She's, she's there with me at every match, that uh, whether I'm at home watching on, on TV or whether I'm at the actual race course myself, so it's been pretty great.